Hey guys, today I'm going to try to polish the front fender of my car, which I recently painted. The problem is that without experience, I couldn't apply the clear coat properly because it needed to be slightly thinned before application to ensure better flow and prevent defects. However, since I don't want to repaint the part yet, I decided to try polishing the fender. Let's see what mistakes I will make and whether I can polish the clear coat and make the surface more mirror-like. Polishing seems to be easy, and there are many YouTube videos demonstrating the use of different pastes, abrasives, and tools. I've settled on the following steps. I'll start by sanding the surface with 1,500 grit sandpaper. Then I'll move on to 2,000 grit sandpaper to refine the scratches. To minimize the amount of work with polishing compound in the next step, I'll sand the fender with a 3000 grit Trizact abrasive disc. For polishing the part, I'll use Menzerna 400 compound. First, with a hard white pad, and then I'll switch to a soft black one. I begin sanding with 1500 grit abrasive. I wet the sandpaper with water and sand the clear coat in circular motions using a sanding block. I tried sanding a small area of the clear coat, then dried it. It's noticeable how the clear coat defect gradually starts to level out. In my case, I need to sand the clear coat to the point where I can achieve a mirror-like finish, just like the other body parts that I've already polished. I sanded for a long time, periodically drying the surface and checking the results. Since I have many defects in the clear coat, I think I should have started with 1000 grit abrasive, but I didn't buy it because I was afraid of sanding through the clear coat to the paint. In the end, after several hours of work, the surface became almost matte, and I decided to stop because sandpaper only removes the top layer of the clear coat. To fully matte the surface, I would have to sand the clear coat completely, but I didn't want to do that as I was afraid of sanding through to the paint. Next, I repeat the same process with 2000 grit abrasive. On the final sanding step, I use 3000 grit abrasive. Since my orbital sander is 125 mm, I had to sand the surface manually. I applied polishing compound to the white pad, then spread it on the part and started polishing the clear coat at low speed. I periodically checked the temperature of the clear coat with my hand to avoid overheating it polished in the longitudinal and transverse directions and didn't dwell on one spot with the sander. In the final step, I used the same compound with a black soft pad and increased the speed slightly. Perhaps I should have heated the clear coat more, but without experience, I didn't want to make any major mistakes. Polishing doesn't take much time compared to sanding, and since it got dark, I decided to wait until morning to see how the surface of the part changed after these manipulations. If you don't look closely, it turned out pretty decent, of course. But if you get closer to the fender, you can see that I didn't sand the clear coat well in some areas. Especially in the shadows, you can see places where the polishing compound couldn't reach. I think I could go over the fender with a coarser abrasive, but I'm more interested in how the clear coat turned out. It didn't turn out very well here. I couldn't achieve a mirror-like surface, and such a part in the car stands out compared to the other details.